so much, Program Director or Protocol of Serve. Thank you for the opportunity. I will just go straight um, to the discussion of today. I'll be talking on digital financial inclusion for women in South Africa and what has been South African response regarding digital financial inclusion. Um, just as we all know, um, the current pandemic has actually caused a global shift on which the traditional money um, has been shifted into the digitalized money within the society. So digital financial inclusion has been deemed as an important part of the fourth industrial revolution, um, which is meant to give a significant shift and promote human and technology development. However, um, just like the previous speakers have said, um, we all know that the current um, AI has actually exposed and um, shown the gender gap, especially when it comes to gender financial inclusion. Um, the 2017 Global Findex report have analyzed the current state of financial uh, institutions in South Africa and, um, and also in the African continent. And it is shown that only 10% of the adults actually own a bank account in Africa. However, the mobile money has actually taken a good effect in regards to this, in which South Africa has actually has 100% representation. Um, the previous speakers have spoken about the importance of AI um, to women empowerment. Uh, the same goes with digital financial inclusion. It is um, a means in which to bridge the gender gap in terms of account ownership and so on and so forth. Coming to digital financial inclusion in South Africa, um, South Africa is no exemption. Even though in Africa, South Africa is the only country with a positive gender gap when it comes to financial inclusion. In fact, statistically, South Africa is rated higher and women are um, said to be more financially included than men. But um, in due process, if you look keenly into that, um, the reason for this escalation is actually because of the SASA um, card, which uh, most women um, used to collect their grants at the end of the month from the government. And because of this, you can see that most women in South Africa have a dormant account rather than an active account due to various factors which we'll be talking about later on. Um, the South African government has tried their possible best to implement different initiatives in order to ensure that there is financial inclusion within the country. Um, President Siri Ramaphosa last year, 2020, uh, made a statement that um, uh, technology advances is going to be made for all citizens. And um, they've tried to make initiative on access to financial services eradicating over indebtedness and so on and so forth. Um, also, the government has worked hand in hand with the financial institution to lower cost and consolidation of funds, uh, modernizing and improving the governance of all retirement funds and ensuring there is adequate benefit for the people. However, with all these benefits and initiatives that the government has made, there is still a big gap when it comes to digital financial inclusion for women. The situation analysis on digital inclusion in South Africa is that 38.19 um, million out of 59.67 million people are internet users. And out of this 38.19 million, only 11.6 million women are actually using online transaction. And you can see that from, um, the figure that you are seeing there, 11.6% uh, women are the only one who are assessing digital financial inclusion. So there are a lot of challenges and obstacles that are causing this. Um, in a current research, um, which has been conducted on digital financial inclusion in South Africa, on 30 women entrepreneurs, 
five senior financial institutions and five government policy makers. Um, part of the findings as at the time of the research was that there was no specific policy addressing financial inclusion for women. This has been improved last year uh, based on part of the collaboration with Department of Women, Youth and Disabilities. The Department of Women has actually um, implemented a policy uh, which they put online last year, but uh, the implementation is yet to be finalized. Um, and also South Africa, we all know, do not really have the culture of savings and investment. And because um, women belong to the poor and the marginalized aspect, they do not actually have uh, enough for them to um, save and invest in, and assess different um, financial products that are available for them. So if you look at um, the graph, most of the challenges that um, women complain about was the financial constraint, discrimination, insufficient network, lack of collaboration, lack of skills, illiteracy, and so on and so forth. These are most of uh, the challenges which we've actually seen in literature and which um, the findings actually confirm with. So um, also, the issue of too many bank charges has actually um, discouraged women from being digitally final, um, uh, financially included. Uh, most of the women and the participants complained that they can't afford the bank charges and uh, because they actually belong to um, the informal sector, um, they would rather engage with the informal institutions rather than um, engaging with the bank. Also, the fear of the cyber crime, the proliferation of cyber crime, is something that is actually um, prominent in the findings that uh, the women complained about. And um, because of that, most women in the country will rather turn to the stock valves and the social clubs rather than engaging with the loans and credit system uh, within the country. And um, some of the financial institutions have tried their possible best to ensure that um, they engage with these people in order for them to be able to um, accommodate them. Um, but for the sake of this um, paper and uh, this uh, debate, um, the recommendations that have been put forward is that um, the government needs to develop gender responsive strategy, ensure there is adequate access to high CT by women and girls, mitigate a prompt response for women, ensure that uh, gender discrimination is ended. There is enough capacity training, you know, job safety for women and all other factors that are hindering women. Um, it has been seen that most women who are engaged in senior management actually yield the larger turnover rather than uh, the opposite set. Um, I will conclude by saying that technology is actually human invented and um, it is important that we all work together towards achieving sustainable development. And because of this, we should not see the fourth industrial revolution as an enemy or destroyer of individual lives, but rather see it as a future sustained system that can promote global development and financial inclusion for women. Thank you very much.